Hello there. Today we're talking about FHA appraisals and if repairs get called out on those appraisals. You may have had an appraisal and have those repairs or maybe you're looking at a home that you're worried about that will not pass the FHA appraisal inspection. My name's Miles Pitcher. I own Superior Lending. I've been in the business for, oh, it's been 22 years now and I want you to, I'm going to share with you some things on these appraisals. And at the very end, I have a really, really cool guideline tip that could be a game changer for you on this FHA loan or for your clients, depending on your situation. So FHA loans do not stand for first time home buyer. It's Federal Housing Administration. These are great loans uh, that have a low down payment, they accommodate lower credit scores, and uh, as of recently, they've reduced down how much they're charging on mortgage insurance, so they are becoming a very popular product for our clients. Uh, we, we love these, they're great options. As always, you should have a loan officer who's going to present to you some options, conventional versus FHA, or look for any other loan products that could determine if it's the right fit for you. Let's get rolling on this. In the past, there's been a few knocks on FHA because uh, of the loan program. Number one is the, the strictness of the appraisal and the inspection there. Uh, many times sellers would not accept offers from buyers that are doing FHA loans because of these repair requirements. Um, some of the other ones are the upfront mortgage insurance and mortgage insurance premium. And those are, yes, those are true. They happen, but FHA loans typically carry lower interest rates that help offset what's being charged there. But we're talking appraisals today. So I'm going to run through a few common repair issues that we see that pop up on these, get called out by the appraiser on the reports. Number one, the condition of the roof. Um, FHA is a loan product where the appraiser will climb up on the roof and examine the age of the roof. You may have to get a roofer to come in and verify that there is a certain amount of life left in the roof or even give you a bid on what it costs to do some repairs to the roof. Electrical and plumbing. So just be aware that when the FHA appraiser comes, utilities need to be onto the property and they will check out electrical and plumbing. They, if there's exposed wires or even the face plates missing off like a light switch or an electrical outlet, they'll call those out. So just make sure that those are in place. Foundation problems are gonna look at those, make sure everything's okay on the foundation. That one's kind of obvious. Water damage mold, they will be looking for those. Safety hazards, and this is kind of the all-encompassing category for FHA is they look for any safety hazard that needs to be repaired. For example, handrails are missing on stairs. They'll call those out. Or maybe you have just two stairs missing off the back porch door down to the ground level to the grass. They'll make you put in those two steps that are missing. Um, yeah, peeling and chipping paint are a big one. So just know that whether this is on um, the house, it, maybe there's like a detached garage that has some chipping paint on it. If it's on the property, it'll need to be scraped, sanded, and repainted or painted over to make the appraiser happy on that. They'll check the HVAC to make sure it's working and up to code. Heating sources are a big one. I had a house once that had relied solely on fireplaces as the heating source for the home. Could not make it work for it, FHA. They'll check for signs of termites, pests. If they are there, they will ask for an inspection to be done. I have one right now where there is signs of termite damage, but we have a certificate from a, a pest control company that this is a past problem and it's been treated and taken care of. Appliances need to be installed by the time that the appraiser comes. They will make sure that they are in good working order. Broken windows are another one uh, that commonly we see pop up. 
All right, here's a bigger list. I'll make this bigger. Uh, I'm not going to read through all these. You can pause this video and check them out. But a lot there's a lot of things there. But I want you to take note of the top two bullets there. That the FHA appraiser is looking for anything that relates to safety, security, and soundness. And then also the marketability of the property and to protect the health and safety of the occupants. So as the appraiser is going through that, uh, you can't list every single thing that they could call out, but those are the general guidelines uh, in there. And so if the appraiser sees something that is a safety hazard, they may call it out. Here's some more in here. And yeah, debris under the house that requires removal. Yeah, that could get called out. I don't have many wells around where I do loans, but uh, they may be required to be tested. All right, so now on to the brilliant idea. This, this is so cool. And honestly, I just discovered this phenomenal idea. So meds repairs called out. Question is, who's gonna pay for it? And we, wish there was a way that we could many times buyer will say well i want the seller to pay for it sometimes sellers are unwilling to do that but this is a great way that the buyer can get it financed into the loan the big assumption here is that the repair has to be called out by the appraiser on the appraisal report and there has to be enough value in the home to support this so i'll show you an example here it means that if you're buying a home for 400,000 and it appraises for 405,000 and the appraiser says, hey, you need to do some roof repairs, the client will have the ability to put that into the loan uh, where they take the purchase pl price plus the repair costs and that becomes the starting loan amount. Then the client has to bring in the minimum down payment amount, 3.5% of that. Uh, just be aware that this situation, the client or the buyer has to be the ones to pay for the repairs and then they can be reimbursed at closing. The contract has to state that the buyer is responsible for paying for that. And the work can't be done or completed prior to the appraiser calling it out on the appraisal report. So let's look at an example here. So we have a home purchase price, 400,000, it appraised at 410. The appraiser came in and noted, hey, we needed some water heater straps. And then there's a detached garage with ch some chipping and peeling paint. So it needs to be scraped and painted. The client now, well, and we, the cost, they got bids. It'll cost about 7000 for it to get done. Our contract does say that the buyer will pay for the repairs. So since we have room in that appraisal, we're going to take our purchase price of 400. We're going to add to it the 7,000 repairs. Our starting point will then be 407. The client will have to pay a down payment of 3.5%. That's the minimum down payment on FHA of the 407,000 or $14,245. So the client is going to pay out of pocket prior to closing for these repairs to be done, $7,000. The repairs will get done. The appraiser will come back and verify that they have been done. Then as we go to closing, the loan or the financing of the loan will reimburse the client that $7,000. And it's basically the client using part of their down payment funds to upfront cover the repairs. And then at closing, they're going to get reimbursed back that money that then they can use for their down payment. It is a brilliant way to go. This is way cool. If you have questions on how to do this or get it done, please reach out to me and my team. All right, any thoughts or final thoughts here? Just make sure you're working with an experienced agent and loan officer on this. Um, it's a big deal and it really can make a difference for the client. Here's how you can reach out to myself and my team. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, scan that QR code to get my business card, and there's our number. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.